weasel crosses the line and turns into a white weasel. The little gray rabbit only dared to try with his tail. Tinker Bell, a bit of a tiger, jumped over the line. She was the first warm fairy to step into the winter woods. Suddenly, her wings glowed with color. Just then Fontaine pulled her out with a lasso. Any later and her wings would have frozen. Tinker Bell came to the library to find out why her wings glowed and finally found a book on wingology. But when she opened the button, the book flew away and she struggled to catch it. When she got to the page about glowing wings, she found that the caterpillar had eaten most of it. She had no choice but to enter the winter woods again to find out what had happened. The owl crossed the warmth line and landed on the ground. He crept into the winter woods library and once again his wings shone brightly. Tinker Bell was surprised to find a winter woods fairy whose wings were also blowing, and the two of them felt a strange affinity for each other when they first met. The doctor also wanted to find out why the wings were glowing. A large snowflake slowly rises and they expose their wings to the sunlight, and when their wings touch, an image of their past appears in the air. It turned out that they were born from a baby's first laugh. One sister stayed in the warm forest, the other drifted to the winter forest. Since then, the two sisters have been separated from each other and their wings sense when they're near each other, which is why they glow, with their backs to each other. Their wings slowly merged. Since the warm fairy couldn't stay in the winter woods for long, the sisters had to part ways for a while, and they were very sad about it. Tinker Bell was inspired to build a snowmobile to take her sister to the warm forest. You've never seen anything like it. This is the kind of weather that keeps twins apart. To get her sister to the warm forest, Tinker Bell built a snowmobile. They pulled a large ice cube onto a cleaning board and started the snowmobile by hand and it managed to spray snowflakes. Snowy flew over and found that her wings really didn't melt off. Tinker Bell had a lot of surprises in store for her sister. She signaled her sisters to get started. The light fairy made a gorgeous rainbow. The flower fairy flew over all the flowers and they bloomed instantly. The water fairy pulls out a jet of water and displays a small fish in front of Snowy. The animal fairy ordered butterflies to fly around Yuki. Yuki kept wiping off her sweat and gradually she fell to the ground. The snowmobile didn't have enough snow to keep the temperature down. But if they didn't do something soon, Yuki's wings would melt away. Fatty pushed the ice as hard as he could and wrapped Snowy's wings in ice and leaves and then rushed to the winter woods. They finally got Snowy to the winter woods. Then the king of the winter forest flew over and guided Snowy to spread his wings slowly. Thank goodness Snowy's wings were saved. The king ordered them never to see each other again. And once again, the two sisters were parted. The king rode the owl and pushed the snowmobile into the river. A careless move that would bring devastation to the warm forest. 